were up there a Hello. long time. Oh, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. There we go. Mm -hmm. Is it good cooking? Oh. And <laughs> done. Okay. Oh. Finish it? Yeah. Oh. You know, it's probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? Looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Huh? Got none of that. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? <laughs> oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical. I'm glad they're paradise. still together. Mm -hmm. They were having issues. I got to pull a bunch of garbage out so. of a river. Hmm. Yeah. I was a little worried. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a... Uh, early 21st century truck we got apparently the natives called it a semi oh dear lord kind of so <laughs> boring stuff but tell me about the article well it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in bangkok but i don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that i'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was that it was like shock to the lungs What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? She looks different. This one? I don't know about you guys, but I think she looks different. Somehow. Uh... Uh, the people... Uh, Bangkok, and and the smog, and how they they can't uh, can't get a flight anywhere, and people can't breathe. Oh, wow. God. I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asks me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't well, seen him. is still alive. Oh, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Just stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let Good me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um... Play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's called. <laughs> I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken to the bet? Oh wow. Okay, cowboy. <laughs> The PlayStation. Okay. All right, that is awesome. Oh, I'm learning all right. That is awesome. Let's see what game they're gonna be playing. 
Is this, this is this no, is ridiculous yes, right now. Load. load. Yes. This is Gosh. taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to. Okay, there we go. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No. No. Just uh. How do you uh? How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Oh my god, that's okay. really so you want to run towards the camera. Do I get to play? Run to the camera. Got it. I get to play Crash. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack! Yep, press X to jump. Got it. You'll want to jump over I know. the pins and the obstacles. Come on, it's like my thing. Okay, run away from Where the boulder. Where do you do the D-pad, though? Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh yeah, way to go there. Not bad, not bad. What is that? Like a fox? A bandicoot. It looks like a fox. It's like a fox. That was a fox. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing the boxes? Bandicoot, and that's just that's what he does. It's a fox, and it's not very realistic. Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. It doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? No, but I'm sure they're going to wear sneakers. Okay, grab the oh, if I die, I'm going to kill you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> oh! Aw, oh, man! I don't know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. You're I, dead. I would have climbed back up. That's not realistic. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. That was... That was... not not too bad. Why is he stealing all this fruit? Oh, he man. Do not need fruit. He's not stealing his collection. Well, it's not his, and that's called stealing. Huh. <laughs> you would know. What's that? Nothing. He's way overanalyzing Crash Bandicoot. Stay focused. Okay, you got it. There you go. Oh, these graphics are pretty good. Aren't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, get the Wumpa fruit. What is Wumpa fruit? Clear, it's a Wumpa fruit. <laughs> Why does a fox want fruit? <laughs> this is great. Nice. Alright, okay, good. Yeah. I don't think I beat her so far. Fine. What? Is that it? <laughs> you asked for it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good really? cleaning. Really? Are you gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Oh, it's way no, easier on no, the Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning. What are you gonna do? I'm warning. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. What can you I'm do in you. real life? What do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? <laughs> Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm, uh... Who this? Looking for my little brother. It's about your height. A little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the pimples. <laughs> Sam? Good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take <laughs> it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Oh, Jesus. Hey. <laughs> well, the doctors, they, 
and doctors, they patched me up and they tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a guard, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have come back. come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? I need some air. Guess this is why we haven't heard of him, huh? That makes total sense. To retract my previous You're comment. You're gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Okay. Have a seat. Okay. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. They tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. Oh, geez, what crazy stories? Got shot. Hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas? Yeah, that, uh, that actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Let's see. Um, I like the second one, so I'm okay. gonna start with um, that one. A few years back, I got roped into uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp. Oil lamp. Uh, it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kublai Khan's treasure. Yeah. Yeah, and as it turns out, there was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. <sighs> Unbelievable. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring, the engagement ring. I'm married. I can't believe uh, Elena <laughs> from the stories. That's my wife. You gotta come meet her tonight. Dinner at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you, Nathan. I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? Uh, of course. <laughs> what are you talking about what kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring a bell with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story. Oh, it's on his head. Last year, he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Not reading tonight. Samuel, come here. Hey, Sam. Man, he's been in prison this whole time. God. Sucks. They're singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean... They have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> but when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <laughs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. 
but I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time, which I'm sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel. Are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Alright, so we get to be Sam now. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición, en camino. Todo va de acuerdo al plan, señor. Fantastic. How long have you had this plan? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Get on. That's dead, guys. Pedazo de manera la puerta. Nunca saldrás de aquí. Silencio. Jesus. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here. You'll need this. You remember how to use it. Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran todas las puertas. Hector. You do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Get close, Sammy. All right. gonna let them, you know, shoot the guys. Some ammo. This is crazy! We're <laughs> going to need to earn our freedom! Just like killing everybody. That's working. Yeah, I see. No ammo. So now what? Estamos en posición. Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, um. get behind something. What? Oh, jeez. Just do it. <laughs> Holy smokes. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Estamos bien. Oh, I need that. Should have went back for it. Oh, geez. This is serious. Oh man, 
some serious firepower. I'm gonna keep the weapon I got. I see, so the ammo is like glows. Got some more. Come on. I don't know about you guys, but like Naughty Dog is really like made me a scavenger between The Last of Us and the other Uncharted games. I really just like look everywhere for ammo and other stuff. Are you ready? Get over here. For me, guys. Oh, where are we going? What are we doing? What are you doing there? Oh, just kidding. me about that. baby. Oh, well. Here, tell me drink. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm better than good, actually. <laughs> you, you're dehydrated. Go ahead and drink. Thank you. So, what's next for Samuel Drake? Huh? Mm. What is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep in a real bed. I'm gonna find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, <laughs> track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long do you think it would take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, I uh, get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? It's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know what it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very I solid I keys. Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, take, take. Hey, take it easy. Uh, well, that's not nice. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. But I can, I can get it. Okay, I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You just got out of prison. The problem is. I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear. To you. How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Long. Say it. The treasure or do something really stupid like go to the authorities. Oh no. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. Here. Come on. Now, the nearest town. Ten kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. Huh. It's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it. Then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear this, Samuel. Uh, let's me go and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off. And... Wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. The moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? Well, I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet you Rafe doesn't have this. It's really that amazing what we can sleeping. find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, New where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi estate. Oh, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And uh, where are you going to get the money to fit all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to. Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh no. No, man, listen, I I can't. I'm I'm out. What? No, I I I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Uh 
I don't know, like, uh, anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got in that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. <sighs> Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. an old phone. Hey, hon, it's me. Flip phone. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Yeah. He's not gonna tell her? I know, I know, but, uh, it's like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. Neat. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. Where? It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? I don't know. You sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right. Simple. And it'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam, he knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Say Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. Look, I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And, no, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. Okay, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. <laughs> Try to keep your tux clean. Oh, Thanks. That makes sense. Okay. Alright guys, this is the end of this video. Um, if you're enjoying the series, please like the like and subscribe down at the bottom. Leave a comment. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.